Hi, this is Yohosapin Bharti, and we are here at Open Source Summit in Vancouver. And today we have with us Anna Hermanson. You are our ecosystem manager at Lab Research, and it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk. Yeah, me too. Uh, first of all, let's talk since you folks, you know, you, you work at Lab Research. Uh, at this event or before this event, any major research work that you folks released? Just give us an update on that. So we've had nine research reports released since January 2023. We've been pretty prolific this year. Um, I think we're at 31 reports published since Hillary started LF Research in 2021. So we've been doing a lot of work. Uh, the last few reports have been focused around the economic value of open source and how to actually quantify that, uh, which, which turns out is very difficult to do. Um, so we had a re research report that came out earlier this year this year on that. We also had a re accompanying report on that about the economic, how open source can help um, as, a, as a potential lever for economic recovery. And that got into conversations around where the government can come in to implement open source, which we've seen at Open Source Summit North America. The government can play a really useful role in implementing open source and regulating around open source as the government of British Columbia has been doing. So lots of work in the economic recovery and economic uh, around economic concerns. That also came out in our tech talent report that was released just, uh, I think, yesterday at Open Source Summit North America. So we had a report that came out um, that surveyed hiring managers around um, their, their sense of, of hiring technology talent as we enter a more economic recession and where, um, where priorities are being placed in this as um, there's less money to go around in terms of hiring developers. So um, that was a more recent report that we published. And we've also been working in the sustainability track. We were here under the Sustainability Con uh, mini conference at OSSNA. And so um, we have a few initiatives coming out for the sustainable development goals and where open source fits into those. And we also have a few reports coming up down the road. Uh, in microgrids and uh, energy utility transformation readiness. So lots of work being done right now, but that's a, a high-level overview of where we are. Of course, reports play a very big role, you know, in understanding where the market is. It also helps the foundation to see where the, to invest resources. But if you look at Linux Foundation, it's a foundation of foundations. Do you also work with different foundations within Linux Foundation to collaborate with them? Like when we talk about talent, you know, the, you know, the, the, the client's whole team, you know, training, they work, and sustainability, there are different teams, LF Energy is there, mm -hmm. Ag Stack is there. So do you work in an isolation or do you work with other foundations of the Linux Foundation also when you work on these reports? Yeah, so we work, we work, depending on the research question and the industry, we work either within an industry vertical, so that might be, you know, collaborating with LF Energy or LF Training and Certification. We also work within or across technology horizontals, so that may be with LF AI and data or um, Hyperledger. We're also releasing a study in the fall on Hyperledger brand. So we definitely don't work. It's hard to work in a silo, especially in an organization like the LF, which is such an umbrella of umbrellas. And um, so we definitely work across, across technology horizontals, industry verticals. And at a sustainability uh, level, we work at the ecosystem as an ecosystem approach because it requires such multi-stakeholder uh, collaboration. So definitely, definitely working across projects and across industries to answer research questions that make the most sense to these individuals and groups. And can you also talk about the role that events like these play for your team? You know, when you bring your research. You you can release the research online through white papers, but what is, what additional value you see when you come here and share with the community here? We do have an entirely open source mindset when it comes to our research, but also the way that we publish our research. All of our research goes on to data.world, which is a place where individuals can go and see aggregated anonymized data from our surveys. So we, we do take an open source approach as we should with our data and our research. 
But as you say, it's, if it lives on the, on the internet, it's very accessible, but sometimes it's hard to get the word out um, beyond using our channels. And so coming to Open Source Summit North America allows people to learn about LF research. You know, Hillary can run a keynote on LF research, or we can run a session in the sustainability contract to talk about our research in this space. And so it's a huge component of knowledge translation is to have individuals in the room that may not have heard about us before or may not have been able to have participated in our research to say, hey, I actually have feedback on that research question or, you know, I'm going to take this evidence back to my, you know, OSPO leader or back to my executives and to, you know, implement this kind of really data-driven knowledge. And it's also a really great way to receive critiques about our research and to build off of that and and gain new, new perspectives around what we're looking at. So, yeah, the, uh, coming to events like this is a really fantastic way to promote what we're working on and, and get more collaborators to work with us. You mentioned uh, sustainable development goals twice earlier. So mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about, you know, uh, some of the key findings that, you know, either it kind of attracted, you know, caught your attention, and you're like, hey, this is what was expected, or you're like, this is not that was expected. I think with the Sustainability Development Goals project we're working on, where we're mapping all, LF, all of LF's projects to the different, the 17 different goals, um, it's almost like a can of worms where you open up one project and you realize this project actually fits into many other um, development goals or initiatives, and um, it's. As Hillary has also said, we have these we have these projects that were born to be sustainability minded. You know, our open source climate, um, you know, egg stack are all are focused on sustainability issues. But then you also have other organizations like the Hyperledger Foundation that has projects that aren't necessarily sustainability focused, but lead to becoming sustainable implementations. Hyperledger Fabric and a um, partnered with Fujitsu to release a, um, a water sanitation project. So, you know, Hyperledger Fabric wasn't built to be purely a sustainability-minded project, but there's so much that these foundations and these projects are doing um, and that where they can be implemented that they actually touch a lot of different of these goals. So I think that's been the biggest learning. And I know our researcher is, who's, who we've commissioned to do this is, um, just finding so many, so many new insights in this space. So it's been really interesting to learn more about that. Can you talk about, you know, what are the research work that, of course, there are certain things that you can share this point, certain things you cannot share, it may be very early stage, but just, you know, what are the things that you folks are working on? Yeah, so we have, I think we have 12 surveys in, in production and in the field and being analyzed right now. So our quantitative data analysts are very busy right now. And it's across the spectrum of research questions. We have a few reports following the open source program office's evolution of the OSPO. And so we've been doing this research for a number of years now with the to-do group. So we have a survey in field launched a few days ago here uh, on the evolution of the, of the OSPO and, and how that's kind of evolved over the years that we've been doing this research. As I mentioned earlier, we have a Hyperledger brand study, so understanding where um, individuals are perceiving Hyperledger to have the most benefit, where its challenges are, and really looking at a broad um, subset of people. And so we're actually avoiding surveying the Hyperledger community and instead going out to broader circles to understand generally what the consensus is around the Hyperledger brand and, and its progress to date. Um, we have a number of surveys. Uh, we have one global spotlight survey coming out, and that will be uh, segmented into different geographic regions. So that survey is in field right now, and we will be turning the results of that into uh, a general global survey uh, report. We will also be turning a report out on Japan and on Europe. Um, as we had last year, the Europe report, this will represent the second Europe report. But what will be exciting this year is that we have these other regions that we can that we've surveyed and that we can compare um, as we uh, as we we've been hearing throughout the conference recently. You know, this fragmentation of open source is really something that that um, needs to be talked about and needs to be researched to understand how to how to move forward in a less fragmented way. Um, we have a, a bunch coming out in the energy sector um, on microgrids and on. Uh, utilities readiness to transform to clean energy. So lots across different industries and, and technologies. It's uh, an exciting year for us. 
Uh, thank you so much for taking time out today and a share of, of course the work that the uh, LF Research is doing. I'll also share some you know insight and you know the the the, the the key, you know, takeaways from those research and also the importance of feedback. Yeah. Uh, thanks for sharing all those. And I would love to chat with you again whenever the next report is ready. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you so much. Really nice to chat with you.